Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time and locations. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, my dear viewers, I am back again with another update. So guys, I have a video here I would like we all to watch. But before then, if you're meeting my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please kindly do well to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thoughts about this video in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video and I will see you towards the end. Take another story. While well, a video of Senate President Goswell Akbabu using the catchphrase, let the poor breathe in his submission during a motion to halt the planned increment of electricity tariffs in order to lessen the burden of the poor masses is making the rounds on social media. The motion, sponsored by Senator representing Oyo Central, Akintunde Abiodun, was unanimously adopted by lawmakers on Tuesday. The lawmakers insisted that Nigerians are now going through hard times as a result of the removal of fuel subsidy. Well, Cyril Fashui, the senator representing Ekiti North, in his prayer, urged his colleagues to prevail on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to let the poor breathe in line with his promise to the people by stopping the planned tariff hike. My additional prayer is taken from uh, the speech of Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu that says, let the poor breathe. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, let the poor breathe. That is my additional prayer. Your prayer is that let the poor breathe. And then Senator Musafa has seconded that the poor should uh, breathe. Those who are in support of the additional uh, uh, prayer that uh, the poor should be allowed to breathe, say aye. aye. And those who are against, say nay. The eyes have it, the poor must be allowed to breathe. Yeah, let me <laughs> the poor must be allowed to breathe as funny as it sounds it is not funny a lot of people did not find this funny ayo right, so an interview had said that uh, made that iconic what has now become an iconic statement mm -hmm. let the poor breathe don't suffocate the people and obviously with social media and videos going viral we have that short clip and so when um, these policies which are meant to um, help the economy have turned around to ameliorate, well, to turn around to exacerbate the sufferings of the people. They have now used his words back to him. Now going back to the house where this statement was made and the presence of the Senate said, and then using and joc jocularly said, oh, let the poor breathe, can the poor breathe and hit the gavel. If this statement was made in a group of people who were experiencing this hardship, we can laugh about it. I put it alongside making maybe racist comments and slurs where, you know, people of African descent or um, black, uh, you know, and minority groups use it to just joke amongst themselves. But when the oppressors use those same words, it becomes a word that ought to be banned. Mm -hmm. The people who are using these words, it almost seems like a mocking statement to mm -hmm. those who are feeling the heat of this hardship. And so whilst it, it might be said to be funny and, mm. you know, I mean, senators have also let the senators laugh mm. if one wanted to put that um, 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 statement. It, 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 again, I'm going back to that word insensitive, in, being insensitive yes. and being out of touch with what yes. people are feeling. It is not funny. It is a serious issue. Yes. And what we're looking forward to them doing is looking for solutions or ways to help and going back to their constituents and perhaps doing things to help them and making positive statements and not laughing as it were at the predicament, predicament of Nigerians. Yes, let's laugh, it's funny, but please, in that house, we are in dire situations at the moment. We don't want to see them laughing and making jokes about the sufferings of Nigerians, Absolutely. unfortunately. Rufai, the poor must be allowed to breathe. I don't know what is so funny about a bunch of guys that got 70 billion why others didn't get anything. And I don't know what's funny about a bunch of guys that are constantly fleece this country with everything they have or this country has to give to them. And I don't know what's funny about a bunch of guys that just sit up there and big fat salaries that they don't know how much or they can't even state how much. And they collect over 100 and something billion every year to run a bunch of less than 500 guys. And they sit down there and mock the poor people of this country. 
that is still from every single day. So I don't know what's funny about that. I mean, it's just reflective of the insensitivity of this bunch of guys. They are fat over bloated pockets with their fat barbaric guys and regalias, and they laugh at the insensitivity of the pain of Nigerians. But I've got news for them. If only they know how many people have been sacked this week alone because companies can't afford to pay them increased salaries. If only they know how many people that have now packed their cars and trekked the streets of Lagos. If only they know how many people that they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. If only they know how many people that because they cannot get Forex, their businesses can't move forward again. If only they know the pain, the people are suffering, people that can't pay for their medical bills and they die on a daily in this country. They will not be making such very, very funny jokes about the poverty and the plight of people. Awesome. Only to think they are there to represent you and I. Really, senators, let us breathe. It's not funny. Yeah, but the resolution that they passed that day was a good one. They moved against the electricity hike. Okay. Look, what are the details? Now that they have said the poor are allowed to breathe, mm. what is next? Because many Nigerians are in their own George Floyd moment. George Floyd, the policeman put his uh, knee on his neck and the man was suffocating. Many Nigerians believe that the government is pressing their neck. Yes. But the senators do not know because they don't go to the market. They don't uh, go to the uh, four stations. They have no idea how much a Congo of Gary is. They have no idea how much a loaf of bread has become now uh, with the uh, uh, wheat crisis uh, in, uh, in Ukraine. So they really don't know. And you can't provide leadership if you don't have knowledge. So if the poor are suffocating, Okay, it's not enough to say, let them breathe. Give us oxygen. Absolutely. Uh, isn't that a thing to do? Yes. So what kind of oxygen are they proposing? We, we, we want a national assembly that is not an extension of uh, all these kids. They can't be doing skits in the national assembly. If you let them leave that to people who are in uh, the BB Niger and all these uh, Hollywood people who are busy on uh, on uh, Hollywood people who are busy on Instagram. You, you turn uh, uh, the the red chamber, the Senate of the Federal Republic, into uh, into a skit making arena. Yes. No, that, that, that's embarrassing. The job of the lawmakers is to make laws for good governance. So now that they say they will let the poor breathe, what are they proposing? What suggestions are they are they giving? What are the ideas? This is a question. Right. That is what Nigerians can relate to, not uh, Baba Salah moment in the, uh, <laughs> in the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. After all, we call them distinguished. Is you act in a distinguished <laughs> manner and not so, turn that our national uh, space into a Baba Salah arena. All right, then. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. How on I see the video? Wait till I think about this video. Make sure I leave in a thought for the comment section. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.